RNG's draft is very interesting because there's no like, there's no true tank on their side. But now EDG, this time around, are the ones opting into a bit more early pressure, having that winning top lane matchup as well. Shahu is about to turn Mega, which does make this a lot harder to execute on. Will have his ultimate available, oh! jumps away, gets both of the carries. Shahu, I don't even care that he died. That was beautiful. If Cry and face check Scout, he can get one shot, but Scout's been spotted. Scout actually oh. is in a bit of trouble right here. Gala could ult forward for him. He's going to go for the play. Has a straight Dirk, but it doesn't matter because Ming just gets one shot. Gala's down as well. Was a good thing for EDG. Oh, look at that ward in the river. Spots out crying on the roam, and it means that now the play can happen on the bottom side. EDG looking for Gala. The fear will find two. In goes Viper for a bit of redemption. JJ cuts down Ming for the kill. And this is an opportunity now on the bottom side to look for a tower. In the meantime, Wei and Xiaohu will find the first tower of the game. Starts getting true. It's going to be close. Uh, not Doesn't even Tristana can deal with the last Probably play. the worst performing member of EDG throughout playoffs so far. If you remember back to the, the EDG series oh, versus the yeah. shenanigans are afoot. And suddenly, he sees Florida Man over the wall and has to start... <laughs> Running for the escape. Wave flashes though. Shockwave pulls Flandre back into the fray. He has to all in. He has to look for anything. But in the meantime, the rest of the game has ended in the mid lane. I don't even know what happened, but a bunch of kills went the way of EDG. That was so confusing because RNG rotated Xiaohu down first while Flandre was still pushing in a wave top. So I expected RNG would just be very decisive at trying what to what Xiaohu is doing. We're seeing Scout just catch waves on the opposite side. It's Flandre doesn't have a flash. Flandre is probably dead. Or maybe not, because he knocks Xiaohu away as the ult comes through. Maybe he still dies anyway. Okay, well, he tried. It, it looked good, but <laughs> he still goes down. Taken down by a Nara and a Bear Man. In the meantime, what can EDG do on the top side of the map? Scout looking to answer with a tier one here. Should be able to do so. I think EDG are still fine in a situation like this, right? Because we see that the only play available for RNG is creating picks. He's incredibly competent on Gala. Just about gets out with his life here. EDG find themselves a tier two. What RNG are doing on the map here. Cryan pushing all the way to the tier two. I don't think he's going to be able to stay and push, but it looks like he might go for it anyway. Scout is on the way, as is Mako, but I think the tower might just go down in time. Can Mako... And Gala will be able to get mid prio at very least. As, oh, here's the opportunity for RNG. Looking for a pick onto Viper, but they don't get it. JJ in from this side here. Ultimate is available. The scatter of the week from Scout is unbelievable. And RNG are kicked straight out of the fight. Shahu wants to extend it though. As he goes onto Flandre looking for a solo kill. Shockwave oh! gets two. In they go. 3v5. They find themselves no a way. kill. Shahu has absolutely no fear of EDG at this point in the game, apparently. As he pushes Shot for more. Onto crying here. Ming looking for a flank on this Rakan. JJ tries to face check Ooh. in. It's a good stun onto Wei, but they can't quite commit to it just yet. Crying off on the backside. Shockwave only onto one. It's Viper, though, and he's low already as the fight begins. Dragon completely ignored. It's forgotten about because they found a pick onto Flandre. And RNG find themselves another. RNG have to contest here. This is EDG's comfort zone, fighting in those chokes. Scatter the week goes wide, though. That's the opportunity. Shahu flashing in. Nar into the wall. And RNG look for the fight. One for crying immediately. Garlic jumps straight on towards Flandre. He's low. Doesn't have the damage to turn it around. It's going to be one for one, though. Mid laner's going down here as Mako steps on forward. The ultimate comes out from Scout to turn it around. Three for three. Viper jumps forward, looking for more. Scuttlecrab in the middle of everything. He's just Switzerland right now. He's neutral and he wants cover. But Viper charging on forwards. And Ming jumping over to the team, getting a bit of healing off, making Mako looking for another engage, looking for another knockup. Keep your eyes for Scout of the Week. Scout can turn this one before. This guy is an MSI champion, and he wants that feeling again. JJ chasing him down, though. He's not Megan R just yet. He will be pushed back towards the rest of the team. But there's a fight on two halves right here, and the pick onto Scout is massive for RNG. Xiaohu threatening on the back line. He's about to turn Mega here. Can't get the ult off. Knocked away by Flandre, but Gala's carrying the fight instead. Flandre now locked up by the Stride Breaker. This is the fight that RNG needed. Oh. They EDG, I'm surprised. There's no way. I kind of, There's I kind of no thought way. they'd still contest. But much will see how play. On top of it, this should just be the Drake taken before the fight even goes on. And RNG even up on Soul. Yeah, he should be able to lock this one down. I think uh, for the side of RNG, they've they've still been playing the map well. 
And that's it. Actually, the CS numbers are going up, I will say, across the board. Um, oh. EDG are in trouble. Here we go. RNG looking for the fight here, but it's completely denied. Nobody is allowed in, but it's going to be Scout caught out. He went too deep on the play, and now Viper, the sole carry for EDG. RNG want to force more. They'll get at least a tier two here, but you know Xiaohu wants to make ultimate. Looks like RNG can just burn this one down. They're actually going to get it as well. EDG would just have to soul Scout has TP in 10 seconds time. If EDG can stop recalls, maybe they could find a pick, but it's actually going to oh, be Xiaohu bikes. TPing in. Oh no, it's crying on the backside. It's both of them. It's a double TP. Xiaohu about to turn Mega as well. Looking for a way in because the Ocean Drake is on the map and EDG want the sole point for themselves. In goes Xiaohu oh! with the three man door. The shockwave is in and it's absolute chaos in the fight. Scout on the backside, but he's alone in the world. Viper jumps out at the far side of the fight as Gala gets a double kill for himself. Scout trying to escape but Xiaohu will not let EDG's mid laner go. He's the better mid, and he's playing in the top lane. Way chasing down onto Viper now, and it's a huge fight for RNG. It's the sole point, though, for EDG. Much worse, and they're making the play to end. This is what they need to do. They have a 40-second death timer on Scout, 30-second death timer on Flandre. Way just stop. Keep stopping these recalls. Push down mid because Xiaohu found the massive opportunity. So Wei stopping the recall from Viper here, keeping him busy, sacrificing his life potentially They're as he finally goes him. down. They're onto the Nexus Towers. Is this the way that RNG makes it to final? JJ pulls the wave for the second game in this series. JJ stalls the minion wave. He sacrifices his Is life. pretty much looking at what summoners are up, who has things like their GA available, for who's going oh, to Shao win a fight. Shao Hu. He's gone way too deep on this one. He's feared, but he's about to turn mega. And he is real tanky. Gets the ult off, but he goes down for his trouble. Ming went too far to try and save the top laner. Straight at them. He'll get... He, you know, he's a tanky Udi. He's only got two items. Look how many items the carries have. He cannot just run into this team. Now EDG will crack the mid lane inhibitor for themselves. It's neutral. Wait. <laughs> mid lane. Yeah, that's the thing is EDG need to respect uh, the, the Meganar bar coming up for Shahu. They can't walk through that choke point. Shahu's doing a fantastic job of just zoning them out. He's stunned against the wall, turns into Mega though, but can't get anything done. That's going to be a splash. What? And Ming goes in as he goes out. The shockwave though can turn it around. Flandre turns golden. Way's dead in the back line. Flandre flashes out of safety. The scan of the week from Scout just turns the fight on his head. And maybe EDG can hold on to this one. Two for one. Might this one away if RNG stay. They have to back away. They realize it. It's going to be completely denied. In the meantime, Flandre is doing the Elder Drake. Everything's going the way of EDG right now. We could be looking at the full five games. And now they're just going to pivot to Baron themselves. I love that you highlight that Wei was down because, honestly, JJ probably could have just walked up with only one other member of EDG and just be like, hey, guys, I have Smite. And instantly, RNG would need to back off the objective. I mean... For them to push sideways with the Baron buff, I'm not going to lie, but they want to just end the game. They're going to take this mid inhib again. The wave is pushing in, and they're going to try and dive the Nexus here, Lyric. I think the thing they're afraid of is giving RNG an opportunity to get on top of them in a 5v4, because, right, we're so late in the game, everyone's close to full build. You just burst the yeah. enemy team instantly if you catch someone out. Let's see if anyone's caught out. EDG just going to stay clumped up and look to try and finish things. They're getting onto the Nexus Towers with these Baron minions, but not really committing. Oh! There's the ulti in. The combo is just too beautiful from EDG. Gala is alone in the world. He's trying his best, but there's nothing you can do against five. The Elder is too strong. The ult combo is too strong. The scatter the weak from Scout again as EDG take us to Silver Scrape. You said it, Munchable.